Uh, welcome to a new episode of More Guys Podcast. We have a special guest from Mexico. How are you, Victor, today? Fine. What about you? Oh, very good, man. Very good. Very good. Um, let's Thank you. In- introduce yourself, Victor. Well, I know that your name is Victor, you're from Mexico, maybe a little bit, uh, tell us about your, what, for example, what do you do for a living or about your hometown? Yeah, yeah, well, here in Guadalajara City is mostly like industrial and also like uh, agricultural based economy, you know? Like, there are a lot of towns around the city that grow some vegetables, and also there is a lot of uh, manufacturer enterprises, you know, about some electronics. Uh, there are a lot of restaurants and all that kind of things that you, you'd like to do in, in a city. And it's, it's just great because the... What do you do for a living? What's your job? Oh, I work as an agricultural organic um, advisor. You know, okay. I support the people. I, I support the people to make their vegetables like better and also like friendlier for of with the with the earth and the world. Okay, okay. So it means you are agriculture expert, yes. Yeah, yeah, uh, so of some of some vegetables, of some legumes, you know, um, also some fruits, and well, the, the main ones that are cultivated here in Guadalajara. Okay, uh, well, tell me a little bit about your hometown more. Like, uh, what's uh, famous for your, your hometown? Well, there are a lot of things, you know, like the mariachis. The mariachis of, of Mexico were born here in, in Guadalajara. Also, there are a lot of um, things to do, like theaters, uh, all, all of uh, cultural things about the Mexican pre-Hispanic culture, you know, a lot of um, buildings from the 19th century. Okay, so like historical city. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a really, uh, really historical city in the downtown. It's, it's really, really historical. Okay. Um, so let's, also, it's like a mix, yes. You, you, there is a downtown as well too. There is a like a, a historic uh, part of the city also. Yeah, 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 totally, totally. Um, well, that there are other places in the city that are more sophisticated, you know, more, uh, actual, but well, it's it's a cool combination. Okay, okay. Uh, we know we know that Mexico is one of the the, the good good country, like one of the wonderful country that the tourists they love visiting your your country. Well, why? What was the reason that a lot of uh, tourists will uh, will will go there to to see, uh, especially or, or nature or like they they will like, they will like to experience the culture or tradition. What was the reason? I think it's it's a mix of, of different things, you know, because there are several beaches that are just beautiful, you know, and the experience there is just great because the people is so warm and the party is great. And also you have like uh, all of this entertainment, you know, like the luxury hotels and that kind of things. But also there are another towns uh, near the big cities that are so, so cultural, you know, like historic and with a lot of things about the revolution and about the, the historical things that happened here in Mexico. I think the main, the main would be like the beautiful beaches, the warmth of the people and also like the cultural, uh, uh, like things that have to offer. Okay. Uh, my, my favorite, uh, stand of, one of the, my favorite stand of comedian is a uh, Gabriel Iglesias. He's originally from Mexico. He's in, right now, he's American citizen. He talks about the Mexico, a lot of jokes that he's telling that uh, Mexican food very spicy. Is it, is it really true that uh, you, you love, like Mexican people love eating spicy food? 
Yeah, yeah, totally agree with that. In Mexico, there is no food that it couldn't be like mixed with some chili, you know, like you have breakfast and you put some spice in the, in the foods and also in the, in the, in the, in the food, in the food, yeah, and well, in the dinner also, so it's, it's every, it's in every single meal of day. <laughs> Okay, it's a lot of spice food. Okay, the next question is, okay, uh, why is Mexican people very unique, like uh, different from the other Latin American people? What, how how do you see that Mexican people are unique, you know? There is something special yeah. about Mexican people. For example, there is Latin America, there is a huge, like, Brazilian people or or the Colombia, the Argentina, there is a lot of lot of nationalities, right? How how do you describe yeah, the yeah, Mexican people, the na- nation that very unique, that differ from the other other nationalities, other country? Okay, I will define Mexican people as warm people, you know, like open people. Like we're trying to give the best for of uh, our, our tourists, you know. Like trying to get get them the best foods and the best uh, um, experiences, and also like trying to to get the best of of them, and like to share a lot of things and know a lot about their cultures too. And I think the the main the main thing is like the the socializing parameter, you know, like trying to connect with the people of of other countries and share. Okay, you mean that Mexican people are more friendlier than other nationalities? Yeah, I, I think that. Okay, is it is it is it possible that, for example, I as a tourist, I go to Mexico, I just walk in the streets. I don't know the direction. I just approach the one person that I would like to go to like at some restaurant or a cafe or, or a swimming pool, for example, or, or the beach. So if I talk, if I try to communicate with the person in English, the person will be able to talk with me in English. So I could just uh, at least like to show the direction. Is it possible? They, they, uh, like, yeah, they speak very good English like you. I think like, I don't know, 60% of the population, you know, would be like that. Like, to able to explain your, themselves and to um, make that directions of the of a place, you know. But I think it would really depend on the, the type of people, you know, because here, here in Mexico, there, there are uh, uh, some people that are economically stable, but also okay. there are other people that are not as 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 stable, you know. Okay, okay, mm-hmm. okay, okay. And so it's still I can uh, uh, I can communicate with them. Let's like the show direction, or I will I would just say just uh, I would like to eat something, you know. That still I can make a contact with them, you know. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, actually, I think like they would understand you. But okay. because th- we have like this strong uh, connection with US of A, you know, but it's it's a different thing that they can like explain you what what you want. So it's 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 a, it's some complicated. Okay, okay. So I, I know just few words and in, in Spanish that I know the chica, muchas gracias, and bailando, and despacito. Oh well, there, there are, yeah, it could be um, fiesta. It could be amigos. Fiesta, yeah. it could be, exactly, exactly. That. Yeah, yeah. Fiesta, yeah. fiesta is a party, right? Yeah, a party, a party. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Right, let's talk about like a, some uh, the spread the very like in our country a very popular Spanish song, especially like a. I can point out like two one. Uh, the first one is I think that the most viewed video on YouTube is uh, now right now is Despacito. What is the, the the song about? What's the music about? 
Oh, well, Despacito is a really good, good uh, song. Here, here in Mexico, it, it smashed it like for two years in a row, you know, and everybody was crazy about this song. But, okay. well, yeah, um, I, I just think it's a great song and actually describes perfect like the, 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 the Mexican spirit, you know, like, uh, the fiesta and the amigos and the bailando, you know, everything like okay, that. Okay, but what's music about? What, what about the music? Can you translate like some, like the meaning of the music? What's that? Just can you give us the, 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 the main meaning of the music? What's the music about this particular? I know this specific is very slowly, it means, right? Slowly, slowly. Oh yeah, well, it, it could be despacito, like, and um, describing situation, you know, when you are in a party and you are dancing with a, a good girl, you know, and you you start to feel this connection with her, you know, and you, you dance despacito, right, like slowly uh, and. Yeah, sexy, it, it, you know. It, exactly, it says trying to the freeze the time, you know. Just you, you just want to feel, let's feel the moment. Just uh, you, you want. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, feel the moment. Yeah, you, everything will slow down. You just freeze the moment, and enjoy the moment. It's just the the the, the music about that. Yeah. Okay, I understand. It, yeah, it's really the definition. That, that, now, how about the bailando? Uh, that's very like uh, the famous music by Enrique Iglesias. Uh, Bailando, yeah, what's yeah. about? Bailando, it's all about dancing, right? Yeah, yeah, it's about dancing, it's about the, the feeling of being with friends, you know, like all the people are together only for having a good time, and also like this connection with the people on the party and have a good time, so I, I think it's a, it's the a main, the main definition of the, of what it's about, the music. Uh-huh. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, Victor, thank you for your time. Uh, this is, uh, the, thank you for the, the, the definition of the, all the Spanish words and the Spanish music too. Thank, thank you very much for your time. And I would like to welcome you for the, for, for the next time, for the next episode. Thank you for your time, Victor. Yeah, of course. Thank you to you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, how can I say it was great pleasure to talk to you? Like, uh, me gusto hablar contigo, right? Yeah, it would be, fue un placer hablar contigo. Okay, hey, thank you very much. Me gusto hablar contigo. Adios. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thank you.